Okay, so today is the 7th of April 2017 and all over South Africa uh, people are being encouraged to protest, protest against uh, the President of South Africa, Jacob Zuma and the governing party, the African National Congress around the recent events after the reshuffle of the cabinet and uh, yeah, and the effect that that's had on our economy and many people are saying that the reason for the reshuffle was uh, to protect the political and economic interests of the governing party and Mr. Zuma in particular. Now, this week I've done a number of uh, radio and television interviews where people have asked the question, should Christians protest? Well, my answer to that is absolutely yes. Uh, firstly, the word protest comes from uh, two Latin words, pro and testari. Now, let's begin with the second one. Testari comes from the root word testis, which means to witness, and uh, the word pro, to uh, witness towards or publicly to uh, profess. Let me cross the road here without uh, losing my life. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> this guy. So, um, yeah, the notion of protest means to witness towards something. And I think Christians should always witness towards hope. They should witness towards justice. And they should witness against injustice and abuse of power. So yes, Christians should protest. So the South African Christian Leaders uh, Initiative, SACLI, has been encouraging Christians to get involved in the three Ps. First of all, to pray. Uh, I think it was Karl Barth who said that to clasp the hands in prayer is uh, to begin a revolution. Second thing that they're saying is that we should protest. So uh, get involved in some form of public action, some activity that uh, witnesses towards good and for people like me, privileged white South Africans. It may mean uh, being engaged in some act of service. It may be uh, being confronted by our privilege or our power in society. It may be uh, sitting with a sister or brother who helps us to understand our complicitness in this. But all South Africans should find some way to witness uh, towards what is good and what is right. The third thing that they're saying is that we should exert pressure. Now this has been uh, one of the things that I've been uh, making clear on uh, the various uh, radio stations and little TV interviews that I've been doing. These members of parliament, uh, the president himself, are part of the 85% of South Africans that declare that they are Christian. South Africa happens to be a very deeply religious nation. And so part of what we have to do in exercising our democratic right is to remind these people that uh, by virtue of their faith and their commitment to Christ and their election to servant leadership that uh, they should be more just, we should exercise pressure and of course there are two ways to do that uh, denominations, church leaders like bishops, moderators and ecumenical bodies can exercise uh, a measure of pressure through policy uh, and that is happening but the second thing that we should do is that as individual South Africans we should exert pressure by living a different way. Let's be the change that we want to see. So I invite you today, get the three Ps, prayer, protest and pressure. So thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video, share it. If you feel different about it, please drop me a comment either on social media at Digital Dion, uh, via my website DionFoster.com or on YouTube Dion Foster. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.